Yet, needless to say, no matter the presentation, in the end, the only thing that matters is the tech itself. And whereas I gave you a sampling of the type of things that were discovered in this investigation, the specifics are far more enlightening. So let me take you through them one by one, beginning with the earliest book of Dianetics, Dianetics, The Original Thesis. It was originally written in 1948 for the medical community on whose patients LRH had developed and tested his discoveries. The manuscript was not offered for official publication, but rather copies of the original typewritten manuscript were circulated in limited numbers to a few select friends. Those friends in turn began making copies for their friends, and so it went until nobody knows how many copies are in circulation. But here's what we do know. Letters and requests for more information numbered in the thousands. In fact, so great was the demand that while LRH attempted to reply, he could not possibly answer every inquiry. And so it was that he authored Dianetics, the Modern Science of Mental Health. But rather than continue with the entire history, the real point is this. The original thesis was not officially published until a year after book one. Whereupon we come to our first incident on the chain in terms of transcriptionists and editors from the school of omission and alter is. <laughs> now, of course, the value of the original thesis cannot be overstated. As LRH has many times repeated over the years, the basic discoveries, the principal axioms, and laws of Dianetics are only to be found in this book. Yet for any of you who have failed while reading this book, you are about to grasp the reason why. And no, the reason isn't, as many have assumed over the years, that the book is difficult as it was written in the lingo for the medicos. First, we have the original manuscript those 1951 editors were working with when preparing the book for publication. As you can see, the book was originally titled Abnormal Dianetics for the fact that it revealed the source of abnormal or irrational behavior. Although yes, LRH did change the title of the book. As you can also see, that typewritten manuscript further includes LRH handwritten edits and editions. Very good so far. And with what I've shown, you'd assume we're home free. But that's exactly where the plot begins to thicken. You see, those edits by LRH were not made in 1951. They were made in 1949. That is, when LRH was first asked for a popular book on the subject, his initial reaction was to update the already existing manuscript, Abnormal Dianetics. Needless to say, he soon abandoned that approach and instead wrote DMSMH, which in turn is to say, there may be LRH edits, but they only cover the first third of the book. LRH did, however, provide editorial direction, both through his handwritten edits and specific direction. In fact, it was quite simple. First, he was updating terminology. Instead of an impediment, it became engram. Instead of a drive, it became dynamic. And as you can see here, instead of brain, it became mind. So where did it go wrong? Misunderstoods and some no best people. While LRH certainly wanted the name of the book changed, he did not say to delete abnormal Dianetics, the phrase from the text. And for good reason. The original makes a great distinction between abnormal Dianetics, dynamic Dianetics, child Dianetics, and so forth. However, that 1951 editor, having decided to delete the phrase abnormal Dianetics from the book, found it impossible as paragraphs would no longer make any sense. So what did she do? You guessed it, delete entire paragraphs. So don't wonder why the text might have previously seemed disjointed, it was. Next there was the chapter on auditing where LRH directed its update to specifically remove the section written for the medicos. Here, the editor liked certain parts of the original, and so you end up with a nightmare scenario where she deleted entire paragraphs correctly, but left in a few sentences from the middle of those deleted paragraphs. So you no longer need wonder about sentences that cause you to think, where did that come from? <laughs> then there are the 20 case histories given at the back of the book. At least that's what it says at the beginning of the chapter, whereupon only two and a half are presented. There were supposed to be none, all of them part of the Medico edition, and of course, which made no sense in the context of LRH's edits. But take all I've shown and a few dozen more I haven't, and they aren't even a blip compared to the lost tech discovered. You see, I previously referred to that manuscript as original. However, once it had all been corrected, and yes, meticulously so, a new outpoint arose. The pages didn't add up. No matter how it was checked, the number of dictation disks 
didn't match the length. LRH had also previously referenced the book's total word count, and we were short by more than a few thousand words. The dictation machine LRH used at the time was called a soundscriber. It recorded by cutting grooves in small wax-like green records, much like the old phonograph LP. Thus the search began, and lo and behold, three discs were discovered. They were labeled UNK Unknown. But no, they weren't insignificant. First of all, they revealed that many of the chapters as currently published were in the wrong sequence, a discovery that pales in comparison to the rest. Because those three discs also contained two previously unpublished chapters. One called The Analyzer and providing the first description and operation of the analytical mind, and the second entitled The Clear. Yes, the first description of the state of clear, and yes, too, they've now been fully recovered. If for no other reason than I thought you'd be interested and bearing in mind we're discovering real lost tech, I thought you'd like to hear a short sample of that dictation. Yes, it's a bit scratchy sounding, but then again, it is LRH 1948. Here it is. The term clear is used because it is common parlance in the field of computers. The analytical mind when the reactive mind has been re-stimulated and exhausted by artificial means, instantly clears itself. This can be considered to make new circuits and computations available. The action does not change in any slightest degree the basic personality of the individual but delivers to that personality a clear mind relieved of harmful emotional content and an organism which is no longer anxiously telegraphing information about false but nevertheless real pain. So with all that, you'll now understand why the original thesis is truly like you've never seen it as it was originally intended. From the LRH introduction, the sequence of chapters providing the basic theory, auditing, clearing, and with all text restored as LRH intended, including his original glossary providing the first definitions of Dianetics. All that in addition to a further glossary containing definitions for another 744 words. And there you have it, Dianetics, the original thesis. <laughs>